Of the 100 billion garments that we produce each year, less than 5% is reused or recycled. The rest goes to waste. Potentially, we could get to 300 billion by the year 2050. It's an astronomical rate of growth. That level of production and consumption of clothing has real carbon and ecological impacts. We are using more resources than the earth can generate. The majority of the world's clothing is synthetic fibres, something like two-thirds. These fibres, like polyester, are made from oil and chemicals, just like plastic. When we wash our clothing, it sheds loads and loads of fibres. These enter the waterways and then are ingested by fish. And so straight away you've got synthetic clothing fibres entering our food chain. One of the other issues around synthetic clothing is that it doesn't break down in landfill, so it's going to be there for hundreds and hundreds of years. We're obviously at a tipping point in the global waste management situation with China closing its borders. And while our domestic consumption of clothing and textiles is huge, commercial consumption is 40 times greater. We're a textile research and development company. We work with corporate companies and organisations looking at the textile waste streams and looking at solutions that we can plug into it. We've done trials in the US with a company over there and we've actually taken polyester garments back to pallets. If it's scalable, those garments can become a raw input into any plastics-based industry. One of the highlights from the Social Enterprise World Forum last year was meeting Karen from Wellington Zoo. We were going through a process with sourcing our zoo uniforms and trying to source them ethically, but what we hadn't considered was what were we going to do with them when we had to dispose of them. Zookeepers' uniforms are really, really sturdy. They're built to last, so they still had a lot of life in them. So we removed the logos, had them embroidered over, and then those uniforms were redistributed back out into the community for people to reuse. Their expertise was absolutely critical to not only think about how are we spending money, how are we procuring the uniforms, and then how are we disposing of them so that more of them can be reused and recycled. Social enterprises have a leading role to play in waste reduction. They offer a new way of thinking and actually a new innovative way of approaching solutions. There's definitely a change happening and we're seeing that just by the number of inquiries we get and it's really driven by consumers themselves. Consumers expecting brands to take more responsibility for what they're putting out in the market. We see the future as a more caring, more, more socially connected and environmentally aware population.